Welcome to the Scum Alive Show with your host, Shikama. And Denovis. A doobish. A doobish. Do you need water or something? Why are you breathing heavy? What's up? <laughs> Uh, so today we're going to talk about The View and Bill Cosby. I was uh, very shocked at the reaction of The View. They opened the topic very cautiously on The View. Now here's, here's, the, here's the deal. Everybody knows that not only was Bill Cosby was America's dad, but he was America's dad for everybody. And I don't mean just this. I mean this, this, and everybody in between, right? Calm down. So it, it, I was kind of shocked that uh, they were very sort of hesitant to even talk about the topic or to what are you doing come over here come here come here that's right all right sit down sit down sit down everything isn't about you sit down <laughs> all right all right there you go there's all the attention you're gonna get there you go yawn there you go good good day so uh, Anubis is fairly silent 99% uh, of the day uh, and so uh, he will uh, yeah that's the most, most attention you give me right uh, so they opened up the topic by saying this is unprecedented that they convicted a man with zero evidence. Zero. Uh, and I believe they probably, as I know, that they know, that most people should know, that the judge would not allow the defense to present evidence to the contrary. Now that's a sad state of affairs there. That that. That smacks of some sort of deep-seated corruption that goes on in that court, in that state, in that city. Uh, we are supposed to be a country of laws, and we're supposed to adhere to the rule of law. The rule of law says the prosecution presents evidence and the defense defends itself by presenting evidence. Uh, now it seems that uh, time after time he had to fire and fire and fire his lawyers. I blame the lawyers because they were incompetent. I mean incompetent. Uh, this trial shouldn't have even come to trial. First of all, it shouldn't have come to trial because of the corruption of the DA. It is ethic. Uh, unethical and immoral and probably there's some sort of statute that says you cannot and uh, at the very top of it it unconstitutional that you can't run on a, uh, a platform of I'm going to prosecute Bill Cosby that's your platform that's your platform for the whole city I'm going to prosecute Bill Cosby okay so I want you to keep in mind there was no evidence. Zero. Uh, and they kept saying, uh, but he admitted it. He admitted it. No, he didn't admit it. He answered a question. This is the question, right? And over here, the same question was asked of a woman. And they both said, yes, we did this. What does that sound like? That sounds like consensual adult relations. That's what that sounds like. And the the and the and the uh, perpetrator of the situation 
was the woman. Now this isn't Andrea Constant, this is another woman. And the only reason they even asked this question was they heard about it. Now, I'm going to pose a question to you, and I'm, I'm going to then pretend to pose a question to your partner of the evening. Sir, did you procure beer in furtherance of having relations with your female partner? Yes. Okay. Ma'am, did you demand to have beer paid for by your partner? Yes. Were you aware that it was beer? Yes. You asked for it, yes. You demanded it, yes. Okay, did you proceed to have relations? That's none of your business. <laughs> uh, and frankly, uh, that that's the way you do at at the uh, meat market bar, okay, bar and grill, right? So that was the entire context of that conversation. But the media, who was fake, who wants to... Uh, blow things out of proportion. Oh, said, oh, he admitted to, he admitted to, he admitted to. No, that's not what happened. A woman said, hey, if you buy me this, we can go uh, back to your place and have a good time. And so Bill Cosby, uh, being the adulterer that he was, he was, he was in fact an adulterer. And uh, that's up to him and his wife, right? That's not up to the DA. That's not up to the judge. That has nothing to do with them. The relationships, the relations, the consensual relations, and every time that they actually then investigated, it was consensual or it didn't happen at all. Or it wasn't even about relations at all. It was some complaint. He brushed up against me in the party. Uh, how many people were at the party? 500? So, wh what, are the, what are the possibility that other people brushed up against you at that same party? Well, 100%, everybody was brushing up against everybody else. But you're targeting Bill Cosby? Yes! Because he brushed up against me. But you just said everybody else brushed up against you too. Right? Never asked by his attorneys. I hope he turns around and sues them for malpractice for millions and millions and millions of dollars. Each and every one of them. Each and every one of them. Uh, now, uh, he should get a completely separate team for the appeals. Now, those are the facts, right? There was zero evidence. Uh, in fact, the first the first trial that was declared a mistrial, people said Andrea Constant appeared to be coached and unbelievable or not to be believed. You know, so it's as if she had a script and she was acting it out. What was the evidence of the defense was forbidden from presenting there was a woman who was on a road trip for business that stayed in the same room as Andrea Constant she said that something came on TV a woman accusing a rich man of something and she said Andrea Constant has said I can accuse somebody of something and I will make millions. Here's what happened. Uh, she said a year later, she accused Bill Cosby of something. Uh, the DA at that time told her, you do not have a case. Why don't you have a case? Why didn't she have a case? Because she presented a, a, an accusation of something that had happened years and years and years ago with no corroborating evidence. Does that sound familiar, ladies and gentlemen? 
no corroborating evidence, and she did not even approach anybody in authority for two years. So this was already attempted before. She tried to present a criminal case. And they said, no, you don't have a criminal case. But the DA at that time said, ah, uh, you know what you could do? Which is not his venue. You can present a civil case and accuse him in civil court. And the civil court does not require the strict adherence to evidence and you don't have to prove your case as strictly in criminal courts. And he said, you're going to lose in civil court. However, Bill Cosby is a rich man. Bill Cosby doesn't have time to be fooling around with you. Bill Cosby and his team and his handlers and his managers and his, will more than likely settle with you. And that's what you're going for. Now, this DA went to Bill Cosby and said, I will seal everything that you say. I just want you to uh, confess or answer the questions. Now, Bill Cosby should sue the pants off of his attorney at that time. Because he then asked him, did you ever procure, uh, you know, uh, gummy bears for, uh, in, 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 the, in the purpose of having uh, relations with, with uh, some woman in the 1970s? In the 1970s, mind you. So, mind you, the, the question itself, uh, I would advise my client to not say anything at all. Because what well, Ari went over the question, right? So he said, Yes, I did procure gummy bears for my lady friend to have relations with her. And they went to the lady friend and said, and he said, but she asked for it from me because I'm Bill Cosby. And she knows that I can procure, even if people don't know or think that I do that, uh, they will give it to me regardless. Right. And that was the whole point. He's Bill Cosby. You can ask him to do stuff. And because he's Bill Cosby, more than likely he can do stuff. Especially in the days when he was a party animal, right? Where he was one of the Rat Pack. He was the fifth Rat Pack. He didn't hang out with him all the time, but he was the fifth Rat Pack, right? He was the... The invisible friend that came in, and whenever he came in, he joined in the Rat Pack. Right? <laughs> okay. So, she said, yes, I asked I asked him for to get, get me gummy bears. So we could then go party and have relations. That was the whole point of it. So then, uh, they took that. Uh, to put pressure upon Bill Cosby and his team and his management to say, aha, we have a smoking gun here. Stupid. St Never talk to police. Never talk to the government. Never. Never. Don't answer any questions. None. This, you're not a Boy Scout. This is not, this is not that situation. Anytime you're dealing with the government, zip it. Zip it, zip it, zip it. I don't care uh, what they say. Uh, if you don't answer that, we're going to throw you into the pit of hell. S zip it. Because they can't. Uh, if, if, if they do, then you have grounds to sue. Uh, every, and you will get millions of dollars. Hold on, what did I say? And you will get millions of dollars. Even if you're Tyrone. Even if you're Kwame. Even if you're a bubble. Even if you don't have a pot to pee in and a window to throw it out of. You will get millions. 
because and every lawyer will take your will take your case said the, the the government threw me in a pit of hell could you come down here and get me out and sue the heck out of them on my way kwame on my way Ty tyrone on my way bubba i'm on my way because i know uh we you and me are going to get millions of dollars because that's how it works so he, sh Bill Cosby, should sue the, the, I mean, the living daylights out of whoever his attorney was at that time. And that DA sealed that record. And so this DA I'm, I went to, no, the media. I don't think you all know how deep this is. The media went to the judge and said, unseal this record. And the judge says, uh, it's sealed. Then the media went to the DA and says, unseal this record. And do you know what? Uh, that, that record wasn't, wasn't, uh, they, the, the idea to unseal the record or that whole process uh, was also sealed, and so then the DA got the judge to unseal that. Then the judge said, because Cosby is a public figure and has no right to privacy, wait a minute, what? Ladies and gentlemen, right to privacy, who, who doesn't it apply to? Do, do politicians have a right to privacy? They certainly do. Now, if politicians, who everybody votes for or against, have a right to privacy, does Bill Cosby have a right to privacy? He most certainly does. He most certainly does. Because there's, now what? There's a whole generation of people who have zero idea of who Bill Cosby is. This is the corruption that was in the court. They unsealed the request by the media to unseal the former case. Now, here's the deal. The DA promised Cosby that in perpetuity, forever, his entire case would be sealed. You, could not see, you couldn't go into it. You couldn't see it. It would be sealed. The judge said Cosby has no uh, expectations of a right to privacy. Uh, and because Cosby said that he is an upstanding citizen, which I believe he's not. Hold on. A judge said I believe he's not. A judge. Based on what? Based on nothing. He's a judge. He's supposed to be impartial and blind to all comers, right? Never had a trial. There was no decision by a, a group of Cosby's peers that he was not an upstanding citizen. The judge made a, a snap decision based on what? The judge's wife. The judge's wife. The judge's wife is an anti-female uh, victim advocate. Uh, so the judge is already t tainted, and he should have recused himself from the entire trial. But he did not, and he unsealed not only the request of the media, of that trial, of that decision, he unsealed the previous uh, thing, and the DA that ran for saying that he's going to prosecute Cosby uh, said that uh, the former DA didn't sign the document and therefore it's not sealed at all and that uh, the judge should then unseal the not sealed uh, speak, uh, speak with forked tongue uh, you, you, you know who I'm referring to right let's, let's, I mean uh, the DA spoke with forked tongue 
He said the seal document isn't sealed and that a DA cannot promise to seal something in perpetuity. Shall we look into the D this current DA's uh, 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 decisions and promises and see if he's promised anybody some sort of deal? And those deals are in perpetuity, are they not? So has the DA turned around and then prosecuted somebody that he said he would not prosecute? Because he has more cases than Bill Cosby. You do know that, right? So this DA should be brought up on all sorts of uh, uh, unethical, everything, all sorts of stuff, along with the judge himself. Now, uh, he, here's what's crazy. Here's what I, so I do a little bit of uh, uh, body language uh, interpretation, right? So I found it curious that Cosby kept smiling, kept smiling, I mean, kept smiling. Even when people weren't around him, he kept smiling. So I said, let's really look into this. Uh, so they took his son from him. Then they took his daughter from him. You cannot tell me that she just up and passed because she was of, of bad health or anything. I, I, I doubt it. And do you know what? I, uh, it, it just so happened that uh, I was researching some health stuff. And uh, the doctor said there's, uh, because of malpractice, you know, there's all sorts of things that make you have a heart attack. There's all sorts of ways to make somebody have a heart attack and make it appear as if they have a heart attack. And that's the cause of, of death on the report. All sorts of ways. Same thing with the, this this cancer. So the given all of that history, and probably uh, if the view is as big as it is, it probably has people just behind the scenes just reading and researching, 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 so that when the, the view comes on the TV, they say they say. Uh, Sort of, it's with great regret that we have to report that a man was convicted without any evidence, without any proof, without a, a shred of any sort of data, anything. First of all, that it even happened. No evidence that it happened. Uh, second of all, uh, the victim in this case. Uh, went back to Cosby uh, about 20 times, uh, messaged him about 60 times, uh, uh, had her mom and dad go to uh, a show free of charge provided by uh, Mr. Cosby, Dr. Cosby, uh, and uh, uh, gifted him a sweater that the mom had made or something like that. This is not the behavior of a victim. Please, all of you victims, have you ever gone back to uh, your perpetrator and uh, give him gifts? Spoke to him like, you know, your old buddies? 60 times? Go back and visit him 20 times? But the body language of Bill Cosby, he's laughing. And I'm thinking, now he did fire the first crew from the first trial uh, because they could not get him completely to get him completely to completely be exonerated with no with no evidence they were incapable of defending him to the degree that people had said there's nothing to this and there was nothing to it there is nothing to the case nothing if I were the judge I said do you have any evidence something case dismissed but this judge is corrupt. This DA is corrupt. In the second trial, the jurors were sitting going, Hi, DA. Oh, how you doing, DA? Hi, Andrea Costa. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Hi, how you doing? Uh, uh, you remember uh, in the uh, Kavanaugh uh, thing, in the hearing, Miss Sheila Jackson, Representative Sheila Jackson, comes up with an envelope and secretly hands it to the, uh, the, the attorney. 
of Miss Dr. Ford? Hmm? I, I made a video about that too. Oh no, I made a tweet and it got it got lots of likes. <laughs> I got lots of likes. <laughs> How did I get here in my life? <laughs> But he got lots of like, uh, and I said, what, "What are you doing there, Miss Jackson, Representative Jackson? What you doing? What, what what is that? What's that? What's in that envelope?" Well, I was very shocked by the view, being very cautious on this, and bringing up the fact that there was no evidence. That perhaps this Me Too thing has gone a bit too far, when you can convict a man in criminal court with zero evidence. Uh, that This doesn't excuse all the other egregious stuff. I'm going to talk about the view on something else too. Uh, this doesn't excuse all of their ramblings about this and that, where they're clearly wrong. Uh, but they brought up that Cosby was America's dad. A man was convicted in criminal court with zero evidence and for anybody with a brain a breathing uh, who's able to uh, say their own name or not even not even say their own name but what if you're a paraplegic uh, sitting in your chair and your caretaker accuse of you, accuses you of of doing something to her you're in jeopardy after the Bill Cosby case. And I'm not even being dramatic. I don't think you know how dangerous this precedent is. They need to destroy the judge. They need to destroy that DA. And the appellate court needs to uh, send that down. And, he, and, and Bill Cosby needs to have a team that will bring all of this stuff up. And not this ho hokey dokey. Oh, when the he's eighty something years old, right? He's eighty. He's well past the. He he's not gonna go do the tap dance. They've already taken everything from him. All of his all of his contracts. All of his contracts. He's still a rich man, but he was he was gonna be a much much richer man because he had contracts. He was about to do a brand new Cosby show. Brand new. All men are in jeopardy. And we could extend that to all women are in jeopardy. Because now a man could go to trial and claim that a woman did something with zero evidence. And cite the Pennsylvania Cosby case. Thank you all for watching. Please like the video. I, I don't think you women understand. You, you think you're, you're in the clear? You're not in the clear either.